let's continue with our vector discussion we discussed that if this is a vector a if this is a vector a and there is another vector b and these two vectors are inclined to each other at an angle theta in this case if we complete the parallelogram if we complete the parallelogram then we have a vector c which is represented by the diagonal of the parallelogram where this vector c is equal to vector a plus vector a a vector b we learned this right and we also we can also get the uh, triangle law by replacing this vector b here right so now what we discussed is that the magnitude of this vector c is equal to root over of mod a square plus mod b square plus 2 mod a mod b cos theta right so far we discussed now i need to know the angle between the two vectors when the angle between the two vectors when the resultant will be maximum the resultant will be maximum so i need to find out a plus b max i need to find out a plus b max by common sense by common sense we know that a plus b max will be in that situation when the theta between them is 0 degree that is the two vectors are acting on the same line if there is a mass m and two forces say 1 newton and 4 newton are acting on the same line then the resultant will be a 5 newton force so this will be the only orientation in which the resultant will be maximum now a plus b max will be equal to uh under root of mod a square plus mod b square plus 2ab cos 0 degree or i can write it as under root of a plus b whole square which is equal to a plus b right mod a plus mod b similarly if i want to get a minus b uh, sorry a plus b minimum a plus b minimum then this will be in the case when the theta between them is 180 degree theta is 180 degree so that the two vectors gets cancelled so a plus b minimum will be a uh, under root of a square plus b square minus 2ab which is equal to under root of a minus b whole square which is equal to mod a minus mod b right so a plus b max is when theta equal to 0 degree they get added and if a plus b is minimum when theta is equal to 180 degree when the vectors are in opposite directions in any other orientation in any other theta ranging from 0 to 180 degree the value of resultant the magnitude of the resultant of a plus b will be lying between a plus b and a minus b right so our first job which was to get the magnitude of the resultant of a plus b is over our next job is to get the direction get the direction of the resultant c which is equal to a plus b c is equal to vector a plus vector b we have got the magnitude of the c which is equal to root over of a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta now the direction of this vector c what i did was i completed this like this this was mod b cos theta this was mod b sin theta this was vector b and this was 90 degree right so in this case in this case for specifying the direction of vector c for specifying the direction of vector c i need a reference point right any direction is specified with respect to a reference point so at the reference point to take a reference point is completely our choice we can take any point or any line as the reference point so our wish my wish that i take the reference point as this vector a right because if we choose a reference point then we need to stick to it right because we are defining the angle between vector b and vector a with respect to this vector a right vector b is inclined to an angle theta with respect to vector a so when i am defining this theta with respect to vector a i may also define this angle between the vector c with respect to vector a so i define this angle as alpha right this alpha is the angle between the vector c and the vector a where this alpha will be equal to i can write as 
tan alpha is equal to p sin theta by a plus b cos theta, right? Turns permanently black, tan theta perpendicular by base. So tan alpha is equal to p sin theta by a plus b cos theta, or I can write as alpha is equal to tan inverse, alpha is equal to tan inverse b sin theta by a plus b cos theta, right? Right. If this is a vector a, then the magnitude of this vector can be represented as the magnitude can be represented as this way, or it can simply be represented as this. Right. So this representation and this representation means the same, which means the magnitude of b. Right. So this was the direction of angle of a vector c with respect to angle uh, with respect to vector a, which is angle alpha. Right. So now, taking a few examples, we can start to learn how we apply these results. How we apply these results. So let's take an example. For example, if it is said that there are two vectors, say a and b, there are two vectors, say a and b. It says that the Resultant between the two vectors a and b, the maximum resultant between the two vectors a and b is 16. Say the vectors are forces, say 16 newton. Maximum resultant, maximum resultant is 16 newton, and the minimum resultant is say 4 newton. And they have asked to find out the magnitude of vector a and magnitude of vector b. Right? How to proceed? As I told, the resultant of two vectors will be maximum when theta between them is 0 degree, right? So, and the resultant magnitude was equal to a plus b. So, I can simply write that a plus b is equal to 16 newton. And similarly, I can write that a minus b, which is the minimum value of a, a uh, the resultant of a plus b, which is equal to 4 newton, right? Now, solving these two equations, I can simply get the value of a and b, the modulus value of vector a and vector b, right? So it will be 2a equal to 20 or a equal to 10 and I can get that b equal to 6, right? On adding these two equations, I get 2a equal to 20 and 2a equal to 20, a equal to 10 and putting a equal to 10 in this equation, I get b equal to 6 newton, right? This was a basic elementary problem. Now, taking up a new problem, say, if it is said that the magnitude of two vectors are say three units and say four units. The magnitude of two vectors are three and four units respectively. It is said that the resultant C, the resultant C of these two vectors is equal to five units. The magnitude of the resultant is equal to five units and it is said find the angle theta between, find the angle theta between vector A and vector b right this type of problems we may encounter so how to uh, proceed we assume two vectors we assume two vectors say vector a and vector b inclined to each other at an angle theta say and we assume a third vector vector c which is the resultant of these two vectors right now applying the uh, applying the formula for resultant of two vectors, which is mod c is equal to root over of mod a square plus mod b square plus 2ab cos theta. Applying this, I can write as 5 is equal to root over of 3 square plus 4 square plus 2ab cos theta. Squaring both sides, I can get as 25 is equal to 25 plus 2ab cos theta or I can write or I can get that cos theta is equal to 0 degree or cos theta is equal to 0 or theta is equal to 90 degrees right 25 minus 25 is 0 bringing 2ab downwards 0 by 2ab is 0 so cos theta is equal to 0 and theta will be 90 degrees right so using this formula we can get the theta between these two vectors where mod c is the magnitude of the resultant vector of a and b right and this resultant vector C means that this vector will produce the same effect as produced by the uh, the 
uh, vectors A and B when applied together. Right? Now, another concept, another concept, say if this is a point O, if this is a point O, and if this is a vector OA, if this is a vector OA, and let's say if this is a vector OB, this is a vector OA, this is a vector AB, and let's say, let's say this is a vector BO, let's say this is a vector BO, right? What I know as, what I know as the triangle of vector addition, I know that OA plus AB, OA plus AB is equal to, OA plus AB is equal to OB, OA plus AB is equal to OB, right? And I know that OA plus AB is equal to OB and what I need to find out, I need to find out, I need to find out the resultant of, I need to find the resultant of OA plus AB plus BO, OA plus AB plus BO, I need to find out the resultant of OA plus AB plus BO, right? So, I know OA plus AB is equal to OB or I can say that OA plus AB is equal to minus of BO, I can write it as OA plus AB is equal to minus of BO, right? The triangle of addition says that the the initial point of the first vector joining the, the vector joining the initial point of the first vector to the terminal point of the, uh, of the uh, terminal point of the second vector is represented as the resultant of the vector A and B, right? So from the triangle of addition, I can write as OA plus AB, OA plus AB is equal to OB, or I can also write as OA plus AB is equal to minus BO from the concept of negative vectors, right? If this is a vector in this direction and this is a vector having same magnitude, but having same magnitude, but in opposite direction will be represented as will be called as negative vectors, right? So OB is equal to minus BO, right? Applying this here, I can replace this as minus BO plus BO, or I can get as zero, right? So in a triangle, in a triangle. If you move in the same order, if you move in the same order, if you move in the same order, then the resultant of these three vectors will be zero.